morning, guys. Yesterday, we packed up our beautiful bunkie at Nova Scotch Resort, and we just wanted to say thank you to Mike and Damien for letting us stay on your picturesque property. It was absolutely perfect. Visiting with you guys was the highlight of driving out east, and watching the seals from your back porch was pretty spectacular. forward to seeing you guys again. Miss you guys already. stopped at Neil's Cove on the coastal loop. There isn't too many spots to actually stop when you're on the coastal loop. I think we saw maybe one or two, but when you pass it, you can't really turn around on the road because it's windy, single lanes, and there's not a lot of shoulder. So if you see a pullover, do it <laughs> because you'll have to drive quite a ways to actually turn around. The coastal loop has like nice cliffy edges is kind of cool. The rain is stopped for now, <laughs> so that's good. I see a little bit of blue sky, so hopefully it'll stay that way for the rest of the day. So not far from Neil's Cove on the Coastal Loop is the Green Cove. So we had just stopped here and we were wondering why, not only for the view, why there was people here, but you can see seals in the water off in the distance. It's pretty cool. There's lots of them and then there's some like way out there. You can just see their little heads popping up through the water. So cute. And you can hear them every once in a while. So keep that in mind, if you want to spot some seals, stop at the Green Cove. And don't forget to bring your binoculars. We did not come prepared. <laughs> Very cool. And the sun is finally shining. The sun feels so good after two days of full rain. Hey? Yes. Finally. Great, sunny. Huh. Still wet out, but it's so nice to see the sun. I like the smell of the pine trees too. It smells so good. All right, we have a lot of kilometers to cover. Off we go.
we stopped just before we're getting onto the causeway back onto the mainland, but there's a beautiful bridgeway and a visitor center here just as you cross over onto the island. Take a little rest, <laughs> stretch our legs. We are headed off to PEI today and then have a quick stop there overnight and then hit the road again. It is the next morning. I feel like a lot has happened in these five days that we've been on the road. But today, we wanted to stop at Hopewell Rocks before we actually started the trek home. But in the last five days, we've been in five provinces. And today, we'll be in three provinces in 24 hours. That's crazy. Yeah, are you supposed to see something from this viewpoint? <laughs> It was $35 for Jay and I to come and look at the Hopewell Rocks. And right now it's about 9.30 in the morning. So they usually say come bright and early or stay late or come late because the, the tides are low at those points. So what's amazing about Hopewell Rocks is the tides. And it's like the highest tide in the world. It goes from 38 feet to 52 feet. Whew, that's crazy. Where other places is only like three feet. <laughs> so yesterday we left the Cabot Trail and popped in to PEI and had dinner with some friends in PEI. Hi guys! <laughs> and we had a quick sleep and then hit the road this morning. We stayed at a really cute Airbnb. We had a pretty cool room. It had a separate bed, had like a little living room area, a nice bathroom, the towels were nice, the sheets were nice, the bed was nice. <sighs> so yes, today is gonna be a long, long day. We're missing the hikes from Peru, so we're gonna try and do just a short hike today <laughs> around here. And it's not raining. random caterpillar just hovering in the air. I don't know if it's stuck in a spider's web or what, but <laughs> you gotta look out for everything. Wow, they've made this trail wheelchair accessible. How cool is that? You don't see that often at all. Wow, it's pretty amazing. We are at the Hopewell Rocks. These are the flower pots behind me. Typically, when the tide is out, you can walk in and around the flower pot rocks. But right now, we cannot because the tide is in. There are a couple more stairs to go down. I don't know how far down we'll be able to get because this, I think, takes you right down to the water. But let's check it out.
I've read that the flower pots are 70 feet tall. Hmm. Wow, this is quite the construction they have here. It's pretty amazing. So it's funny because <laughs> this is the view. <laughs> I'm telling you, in Peru, there would be no rail here. <laughs> The little foot washing station and the dog drinking bowls are an awesome touch, especially if you can actually go down to the beach because who doesn't love a nice wash off your feet after being on the beach? I do! Because <laughs> you know how I love the sand. So we're just going to grab a drink. It is a beautiful day, blue skies, no rain, loving it. So I found the kayak shack, <laughs> so you can kayak here. And it's $85 per adult. You go out in one kayak with two people in it for about an hour and a half you're on the water and about a half an hour where you get like a little instruction, you get all your equipment, get down to the water. So if that's something you're interested in, $85 a person. We're just heading down to Big Cove, but I don't think I mentioned at the beginning of this day where the Hopewell Rocks actually are. They're in New Brunswick, in case you're wondering. So on our five day, travels we've been to Nova Scotia we've been to PEI and now in New Brunswick and today after here we are starting the trek home but with a stopover in Montreal <laughs> so stay tuned for that video <sighs> big cove here we come this isn't what I thought I don't know what I thought I can appreciate all of the work they've done putting into making these lookouts, but it's kind of a disappointment because you can't see off of the lookout area. Trees are in the way. It's like, mm, I think I kind of see a cove, but I'm not really sure. <laughs> The paths through the woods here are beautiful. All right, so we're just finishing off our morning hike here at Hopewell Rocks in New Brunswick. We're gonna head back to the car and head for Ontario. But before we head back to Ontario, we are gonna be making one stop in Montreal. Yeah. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching guys. It's <laughs> crazy. It's so good. And pickles. Mm -hmm. Seriously, can it get any better than this?